when I realized our goals did not align was mm -hmm. when he made mention of I cannot marry somebody that does my nice life. Mm -hmm. Like I would not want my wife to be outside, regardless of Definitely. you know that this is my job. You yeah. know that this is what I yeah. do for a living. You met me doing my career. Yeah. And all of a sudden, because you want to settle down with me, you're telling me that I would not be able to do that. That goal does not align. Yeah. I want my husband to be out with me. Yeah. You know, your shared goals and values. Hmm. Like, does it align? The things the things mm -hmm. you believe in. It has to align. Problem in their marriages like, mm. like it they has say. To... They say. Do you like one of the things to look out for before you date somebody or even get married to somebody is? Do you guys believe the same thing? Number yeah. one, and then do you believe the same thing the same way? Yeah, because we can believe in the same thing, but different, different, different ways. Different ways. Yeah. So. Like, but are you guys do you align? Mm -hmm. And I, when I heard that, I was really. Are your goals aligned? Yeah, that was that really like did something in my brain. I'm like, because all the time, I'm like, ah, as long as yeah, do you believe in it? Oh yes, we do. Oh yes, I what do believe those in this. that say in relationship that it's not important for you and your partner to have shared or similar um or aligned goals. Some people say it's good. Let's go be different. I mean, on people. the long term, they are going. And to be then problems. when you guys come, when important decisions need to be made, for example, you are married mm -hmm. and now you have family obligations and you need to yeah. come together as one. And two different parties is not going to do it. Yeah. You have to come together as one. If not, I that's think I really like what you're saying because I remember somebody trying to like talk me into dating him, and then when I realized our goals did not align, was when mm -hmm. he made mention of I cannot marry somebody that does my nice life mm. like i would not want my wife to be outside regardless of Definitely. you know that this is my job you yeah. know that this is what i yeah. do for a living you met me doing my career yeah and all of a sudden because you want to settle down with me you're telling me that i would not be able to do that that goal does not align yeah i want my husband to be out with me yeah. you get exactly. we will not be out all the time but when I have the most important jobs that you know is bringing money That's and contributing to, to the family exactly. and also mm -hmm. important to me. Yeah. It needs to show up for It was you. like, imagine you have a three-month-old baby now. So are you trying to tell me you that leave you the baby the for baby me and, do and then job. you go and do your job? I say, yes, because you're the father. I thought you were the father. You leave the baby for me. I got pregnant on my own. Girls, do you know the worst The worst statement is this fucking good set is yo. My mom did it's not a, leave really me good. when she had like priorities. She picked. She also carried me. So and that's right your mother. Another mom. problem. How about marry your right mother? You know another problem. She is <laughs> because also <laughs> <don't> <laughs> marry him. <laughs> <Yeah, you laughs> <don't laughs> I see. He's using the yardstick from his home, from his parents, from yeah, his family. Yeah, that's crazy. Mom, she can live all her life goals yeah. and take care of children. So why? And I she... asked him one question. I said, "What did your mom achieve after giving <laughs> it, 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 it the Girl, you, I had to ask him. Like you said, your mom left everything for you, right? What did your mom achieve? He said she he, she left my father. I said so. Okay, make it make sense. Like. Okay. So all okay. the sacrifices for not just for not you just that for you're still putting another person's in, child in through that same thing. thing. I think men need to stop all this nonsense of my mother went through Please. it. So can you? Because someone has actually said it. <laughs> I've heard someone say it before, and it's you cheat on your girlfriend, and then you come into come into the girlfriend to tell her. Uh, my parents went through the same thing. My mom had to, mm. but they had to oh walk my, through they it. Even, even our grandmothers. I'm like, no, be today they don't, they do. I'm reaching out. <laughs> and this, and I, then see, honestly, you. I would always tell such people that your, your mother stayed because she was poor. And That's she was really relying on your father as at that Without time. Without she not even so, so so about, about money. It's, it's about, about like, money. It's like it's, 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 about, money. About, it's about, about money. It's about see, money. The truth is, Half of it this is always about money. No, 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 no. Money, money, money is a huge factor. No, 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 no. I get that. Like a lot of time, they see it's it's only. But I'm saying, you don't like if you have self respect. Regardless of whether there is money in or not, it, if if you have you it, step out. So, yeah, if you have it, you know, enough of it. I think that that money is just an excuse. Why you want money on it? It's not an excuse. Unless, unless you, you can't perspective. make money for yourself. That's the thing because most of them are trained. Exactly. The point I'm making here is that it's not even about money. You're talking about your even great even grandmother. If you're, poor, you're not talking about Gen Z. There was even if you're poor. Some of some of us. Melissa, even if you're poor, whether you have money or not, with scope. You be, you date a man who tells you, oh don't worry, I'll let you in yeah, whatever it is you're doing. He marries you and, and next thing, thing he I want you to stay at home. 
and tell you you cannot do anything. Whether you are rich or poor, if you have self, if you have self respect, yep. it really doesn't matter what anybody does. True. So it's not going to be whether because oh I don't have money and he has money. I'm like oh, can I, I feel I, like a lot of them, a lot, and it's most of most of the women that do that cannot go through life alone. They yeah. can't. Why do you think they stay? They like, can't go through life alone. So, so they would rather just stay there, take all that abuse, and you know, use excuses, use their children as excuse, use children financial stability this, yeah, as excuse, so. just to mm-hmm. feel something. You know, just because they can't do life alone, and, and it's very, very important. You know that. Yeah, that. You can't be alone. There's nothing wrong with the bad decision, the bad everything. One thing to add to this conversation is, I think when it comes down to goals aligning, I feel like when you are crushing on somebody, when you know you like somebody, that should be the first conversation. Yeah, you should have it. Don't be in the relationship and start talking about goals before the relationship. Talk about your goals. Yeah. I know that it's time for me to put on my big runner shoe. And yeah, 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 yeah. So don't wait. Hey, Most people not wait. Some people, some people even wait until they have been engaged before they have goals conversations. Or they even have conversations in the middle of 10 years marriage. Yeah. Let's not even talk about parenting styles. Like the way you want to parent your children. Those are, the, those are, those are, these, those are very Hard important conversations, conversations that need to be had. I feel like that was a huge, um, will I say, what word would I use? Like, yeah, make it a marriage situation. Yeah. It was a huge problem mm-hmm. with my parents' uh, you know, marriage. You, they had different you. ways they wanted to raise yeah, you know, children. Yeah. My mother wanted us to be super religious mm-hmm. and like um my father just wasn't like that. Like he wanted us to have our own identity away from oh, religion no. and every other thing so we could make our own choices. But my mother was like, Nope, religion is very, very pre- important. <laughs> you have to yeah, you have to pray five times a day. You have to do no, all of that. What does that don't make Girls. you a good person, you know? And obviously, it does you, not do. It does. <laughs> exactly. And and then it, it almost feels like, you know, my mother is like, oh, why aren't you wearing your hijab? My father is like, take it off your head. And it's like, and I'm there like, bro, <laughs> which way? Which what way? do you want? Yeah. Like, what do you want from me? Like, this one says, do this. This one says, come on, don't do this. And I feel like it's very, very important, important. to have that conversation. How but do this, we want to raise our children? This style conversation will come in when you know you guys are ready for a long time. <laughs>